All right, my friends, here we go again. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing the share. Um, basically, in my last video, you saw the, f the first two of 72 names of the Spirit God. And uh, I'm not I'm not any religion anymore. Uh, I've studied all the great religions. And I've learned that um, some nomadic values from some ancient people. Um, and they were shamans. Um, um, magi type people in the deserts um, great understanding of the mountainous regions in uh, the Middle East and, and, and knew how to survive in the desert and the mountains and the Great Plains there along the seashore along the coasts so they were very smart people and uh, also from North America the, uh, the Great Spirit was with uh, many of the peoples on every continent every language every tribe every language and so I found this um, I found the commonality I found the common fabric um, between um, English um, modern English modern Hebrew mo modern Arabic and uh, also gr uh, the Greek language the old Greek language was written believe it or not from um, right to left and so I I'm still decoding some of the Greek stuff, uh, and I'll be putting that up. I'll be putting that up again in another video. Some more um, evocations in Greek, in Greek, uh, Greek, ancient Greek language, in ancient uh, Greek form, which is very rare to find anybody that does anything like this today. I don't know if anybody even exists that does it. Um, except bes besides me, I'm, and I have an obsession with languages that some people think is probably not very healthy. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I want to share this with you. Here's uh, the number three for the 72 names of the Spirit God. I'm going to hold them up for you. There you go. What do you got here? There we go. So I'm trying to just get it to where you can look at it. You can even pause at the screen if I'm moving too fast. If you need to look at what's written, I just want you to pause it and take it all in. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. So as you can see, all of these languages here are are pronounced, um, written, and um, spoken from uh, right to left. So we're going to go ahead and s speak it out. I'll tell you again that in the petroglyphic language, each of the symbols was stressed. In other words, every single symbol uh, had a syllable, no matter how many it, each individual symbol has was pronounced as a syllable, one syllable. So if you had five letters, you had five syllables. If you had three letters, you had three syllables. And this is the way this language was. And it was all carved into stone. So what we see here with this is another great name of the Great Spirit and also an evocation of such, asking the Spirit to arise by saying, La Sha. Yah, Ta, Wa, Al, La. I think that I said that pretty clearly. But let me go through it again just in case. La, Sha, Ya, Ta, Wa, Al, La. So that is another way of invoking spirits. Invoking spirits to lead you, invoking spirits to send um, guardians like the other great spirit um, hosts like uh, Ma'al and all them. Um, the great spirit will take you and show you things about the forest and about nature. There that is. So that was number three. I'm going to turn the page to number four. I'm going to share it with you. The symbols and what they mean. Now this is a pretty neat one here. I'll hold this one up to the, let me hold this one up here so you can see it. Alright, there you go. Alright. 
you can see here at the top um, of the page that I've got the the um, these are, this is the ancient pet petroglyphic language right here that's what that is when I was a kid I used to dream that I would go out in adventures you know kind of after the Indiana Jones movie I seen um, I was always out digging for relics and trying to find just ancient art and when I found the petroglyphic language I fell in love with it and I've been in love with it since this is the reason why I can decode them go there you go now you can see that I'm going to lift it up I'm going to lift the page up and get a look at the bottom of the page Alright, so we're going to pronounce this one out. I'm going to start right here with this petroglyphic language, and all of it's pronounced the same so far as I'm concerned. I always pronounce all of four of them the same way because this is the ancient language where it all came from that I'm pronouncing it from. So, this great name here is Wa Al La Ma. Wa al la ma. So you have the pronunciation. Wa al ma is how you would say it faster. Wa al ma. Wa al ma. Wa al ma. Wa al ma. And so it is. All that all means. This the a means all. All. In our in our, you know, even in our English. Um, translation of all and it just so happens to be that that is the spirit deity's title name all so this letter right here represents all it's a fire ox the spirit ox the spirit ox head so that is it that is that and to arise just means to ask the deity great spirit to arise and I tell you this goes way beyond language this goes way beyond religion because if you look at those ancient peoples uh, back in the books um, I can use and I'm not I'm not a religious person but I can use I, I know the I know the religious books well because I've memorized most of them since I was a kid but you look back at Abraham and people ask me well what are, what are religion are you a Christian or or a Muslim and I say no I'm not I studied those languages um, and uh, also study those religions and they only represent uh, a portion each one of what what the spirit of God wants out of people people should be uh, just being uh, human and uh, living and trying to help take care of others and help others where you can is a great way to do um, so this is not religious in any, any way uh, it is just a share for people who are interested in these type of languages and uh, this type of share to be able to get uh, um, the benefit from it. Um, I will say that uh, you know I point to the fact that if you know about the, the scriptures or the Bible some people you know live by those the sayings inside those bi the Bibles and uh, or the Quran but I said that I said that Abraham was not a Muslim, a Christian, or a, Ju a Judaism. He was none of those. And so, I pattern myself and my beliefs after the ancient nomads, who were free men that were, uh, you know, like explorers of the natural terrains that were there while they moved their animals so their animals could eat and, f and, uh, and walk around free. So, I like freedom and nomadic um, tribal existence in spirituality more than I do religion anymore so I hope that you got some benefit from my share I'll be sharing these names 72 of them I'm, I've uh, four I got four of them um, four of them so far so 72 of them and then we're gonna go to 101 after that so my friends I'll talk to you again
sometime in the future. I appreciate you very much. Thanks and I'll see you again.